all right here i want to show you how you can construct a plane scale as you can see here on the paper plane scale i want to show you how you can construct a plane scale and when we talk about a plane scale plane scale is one of the examples of graphical scale we talk about graphical scale there are five types of graphical scale we have plane scale we have diagonal scale we have vena scale we have comparative scale and we have scale of curves those are the five types of graphical scale then here we want to look at plane scale how you can construct a plane scale and to help you out in order to understand this uh how to construct a plane scale i've carved out out a question that we are going to use to construct the scale i've looked at this question the question says construct a scale of one ratio four to show centimeters and long enough to measure up to five decimeters that is the question but before i move on to solve or to show you how you can construct a plane scale i want you to know that a plane scale is used to show maximum of two units maximum of two units for example meters and its subunit meter for example meters and decimeters or decimeters and centimeters or centimeters and millimeters so we use a plane scale to show maximum of two units of measurement or two units of linear measurements and there are some things that you need to know before you can construct the scale and those things are what i've said here on the paper so the first thing that you need to know before you can construct the scale is what we call representative fraction representative fraction and representative fraction as written here is equal to length on drawing over actual length length on drawing over actual length please make sure you bear this formula in mind representative, representative fraction is equal to length on drawing over actual length then the second thing that you need to know before you can construct the plane scale is the maximum end length of the scale and maximum length is also the same as the actual length of the scale to be drawn then the next thing that is also important that you need to know is what we call length of scale so the length of scale is the product of representative fraction and the maximum length of the scale then from the question that i gave that says that we have to construct a scale of one ratio four to show centimeters and long enough to measure up to five decimeters now from that question I have brought out the representative fraction. Representative fraction is already in the question and that is 1 ratio 4. Then the maximum length is 5 decimeters. Since our ruler is calibrated in centimeters and millimeters, so what we need to do is to convert these 5 decimeters to centimeters so that we can construct the scale. So as you know that 10 centimeters is equal to one decimeter it means that this five decimeters gives us 50 centimeters therefore we can go on and calculate the length of scale so looking at what i wrote on this paper for the length of scale length of scale is equal to one over four times five decimeters and we have changed five decimeters to 50 centimeters therefore we have one time one over four times 50 centimeters which gives us 12.5 centimeters so this 12.5 centimeters is the length we are going to use to construct the plane scale but before i move on i want you to know that this 12.5 centimeters is representing five decimeters so it means that 12.5 centimeters represent five decimeters so 12.5 is the length on drawing and five decimeters is the actual length as given here on the representative fraction that representative fraction 
is equal to length on drawing over actual length. All right, so let's go on and construct the plane scale that we want to construct. But before I move on to construct the plane scale, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed. So you need to subscribe so that when and then put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. So it is important that you subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you can learn more under this particular subject and then you need to practice as i usually say you need to practice this subject this subject is a practical subject you need to practice it from time to time so that you can master it and do it better than i do now let's construct the scale without wasting much of our time the first thing that you need to do is to draw a horizontal line as i've done here draw a horizontal line on this horizontal line i'm going to take a measurement of 12.5 centimeters 12.5 centimeters so let's say this is the initial this is the initial point then 12 um okay so this is 7 8 9 10 11 12 and this is 12.5 12 12.5 centimeters so i'm going to make this line I'm going to make it a thick line. So the calculation that I did for the length of scale, you also need to do it when you are given a theoretical question like the one I used. So the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to divide this 12.5 centimeters into five equal parts as we have that the maximum length is 12 decimeters so you divide this 12.5 centimeters as i've said that we are using this 12.5 centimeters to represent five decimeters so we are going to divide this 12.5 centimeters into five equal parts so that each division or each unit will represent one decimeter so that's what we want to do here so we are going to divide this into five equal parts all right so with our compass i'm going to make five arcs on this line so one two six three six four and this is five all right so we join the last one to the end of the line so then we are going to draw five lines to this Okay. All right, so we have completed this. So the next thing that we are going to do is that at the end of the first division, you put zero. At the end of the first division, and you number this one, two, three, and four. So you number this one, two, three, four. So the next thing that we are going to do is that make this a rectangle. Make it a rectangle. Make it a rectangle. So draw a vertical line here and draw a vertical line here. Draw a vertical line here. So let's say the length, the width is 20 millimeters. So take, make the width 20 millimeters. Make it 20 millimeters or you make it let's make it 25 millimeters 25 millimeters okay so this is 25 millimeters okay so this is 25 millimeters so the next thing that you are going to do is that draw 
a vertical line on each point like this select a vertical line on each of these points okay so each of these division represent one decimeter represent one decimeter so that's what we have here so what we have done here so all this division here we have what here we have decimeter here so this is decimeter so write it here decimeter so write it here so decimeters that's what we have here so all these are for decimeters so then don't forget that we are asked to you we are going to use it to show two units so we have made that of the decimeters now we now need to put in that of centimeters as i've said before that 10 centimeters is equal to one decimeter so we are going to take this first one that's purpose of putting zero here so this is one decimeter now we are going to divide this one decimeter into 10 equal parts so that each unit will be one centimeter so one centimeter so as we have done here before we are going to take five points on this line sorry 10 points on this line so this is one so this is two this is three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay so we join the last one to point zero so join the last one to point zero here we are going to draw parallel lines to this one okay so move to the next point so draw a line move to the next point draw a line move to the next point draw a line move to the next point draw a line here we draw a line here we draw here we draw here we draw and here draw the next thing that we are going to do here is to erect a vertical line on each point erect a vertical line on each point Alright, so we are divided this into 10 equal parts. So I'm going to, I will leave this one, I will call this, this is 2, and I will call this, this is 4. So this is, so I will call this 6, so this is 8, and this is 10. Okay, so on top here, so you write centimeters here, centimeters. So you write centimeters here. So this is centimeter. So each of this is one one centimeter. Each of this is one one centimeter. So let's assume that the question says that you should show a length of two point six five. 
two sorry two point six a length of two point six decimeters a length of two point six decimeters on this scale that you have constructed. So how do you show that? So this that two point six that two point six decimeters that two point six decimeters is the same as two two point six decimeters. So it's the same as two decimeters, two decimeters, then six centimeters. So that's what it means. So what you need to do is that, so this is two decimeters now. Then you count six from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you draw the horizontal line. So you draw a horizontal line. So this is six. So you draw a horizontal line here. Then so you put an arrow edge on this. So you put an arrow edge on this. And you write your 2.6 decimeters. So that is it. 2.6 decimeters. So as simple as this, the construction of plane scale is as simple as I've shown it here. You just need to practice. You can use the same question or look for another question and solve it as I've done it here. Don't forget, you, are, you need to do the calculation to get the length of the scale. Thank you for listening. God bless you.